Hello, animal friends. Friends who are curious about the animal world, let's dive in together. We often hear stories and beliefs about animals that shape our view of them. But are these beliefs based on actual facts? In this episode, we will reflect on three common beliefs about animals. Are wolves evil creatures? Do flies really carry diseases? And what exactly is the role of crows in our lives? Let's explore together. 1. Wolves are evil creatures. Myth or fact? Wolves are often regarded as evil creatures in many myths and folklore from cultures around the world. The image of the wolf as a symbol of evil and threat may stem from the fact that wolves are predators that hunt for food. Historically, wolves were often seen as competitors to humans in the competition for food sources, which may have also contributed to the negative view of them. Scientifically, the view that wolves are evil creatures is a myth. Wolves are social animals that have complex pack structures and play an important role in maintaining ecosystems. Although they are predators, wolves play a role in controlling the population of other animals such as game and animals that damage agricultural crops. Negative views about wolves are more likely to be influenced by cultural beliefs and interpretations than actual scientific facts. Thus, the statement that wolves are evil creatures is a myth. This view has more to do with myths, folklore and cultural associations than scientific facts that portray wolves as an important part of the ecosystem and have a more complex role than just evil creatures. 2. Flies carry disease. Myth or fact? Believing that flies carry diseases is a common view in many cultures. Flies are often associated with dirt and dirty places, as well as their frequent behavior of landing on objects that could be a source of bacteria or germs. These observations may have shaped the association between flies and the spread of disease, which may also be reinforced by the fact that flies can introduce germs from one place to another. Scientifically, the view that flies carry disease is factual. Flies are potential vectors for a number of disease-causing pathogens, including bacteria, viruses and parasites. Flies can come into contact with contaminated organic matter, such as human or animal feces, and then carry the germs to food or other surfaces that humans can reach. Diseases such as diarrhea, cholera, and skin infections can be spread through flies. So, the statement that flies carry diseases is a fact. Flies do have the potential to carry and spread various disease-causing pathogens. While not all flies definitely carry diseases, it is important to maintain good hygiene and avoid direct exposure to flies to prevent the risk of spreading diseases. 3. Crows bring death, myth or fact? The belief that crows bring death is a view that is often found in cultures and traditions. This view may have arisen because crows are often seen around funerals or in situations that are thought to be associated with death. The elegance and dark appearance of crows may have led to associations between them and the concept of death, and shaped this view in myths and folklore. Scientifically, however, the claim that crows bring death is a myth. Crows are scavengers that often stick around places with easy food sources, such as garbage or animal carcasses. This makes them often seen around cemetery areas or places that potentially have edible organic matter. The appearance of crows in these places has more to do with finding food than bringing death. Thus, the assertion that crows bring death is a myth. This view is more a result of cultural interpretation and myth than a demonstrable scientific fact. Ravens are scavengers looking for food sources, not bringing death in the literal sense. Opening our eyes to the facts behind common beliefs about animals is an important step in understanding our relationship with the creatures around us. Wolves, flies and crows are examples of how our views can be influenced by narratives and legends. By staying open to knowledge and checking the facts further, we can form a more accurate and respectful view of animal life. That's it for today's video, hopefully it can provide us with new knowledge. Let's continue our journey in digging deeper into these creatures with an open and critical mind. Thank you.